Hey y'all, Joe here, Southern Coast of Cooking, coming at you with my updated version two of basically pork butt 101. And this is the shoulder butt, the upper upper cut on the pork shoulder, not the pit to be confused with the picnic shoulder. That's another another video. But let me bring y'all down here. This is gonna be a super simple how-to video. Smoke a good pork butt. Um, this is one I suggest getting you between a seven and nine pounder, around eight pounds is a good one. Uh, this is about eight and a quarter pounds. Uh, this is the, the leaner side of the butt, as you'll see. There's a fat cap on the other side on this side. Uh, and this is optional, but I do like to take some of this extra fat off, just like that, to expose the meat. That way, this is the side we're going to develop the real crust on, or the bark. Was like to call it. So, if you would just, you know, trim this up. If you see some big globules of fat on this side, or if you see some veins or anything like that, it just doesn't look real nice, appealing, and it's not going to contribute to your bark formation. Understand? So that's what we'll do on this side. I'm trying to make this uh, video kind of quick and painless here. See, we have a little vein right there. Let's go ahead and just cut that out. Um, just. Not much trimming to be done on these. Not we're doing not doing this for competition or anything like that. Just nice good home barbecue. Okay, go ahead and do that. I'll flip it over here to the other side and show you what we're looking at. Here we got paper towel that just kind of keeps everything from sliding around. Yeah. See how the fat cap looks? I'm not gonna do anything to that fat cap except for do some little see the little slices right there. Just some, some cross hatches. That'll help that fat cap to to uh, to uh separate, break up, be really, really nice in the final product. So I'm gonna choose just like that, okay? Just basically cross hatch the fat cap. Now we're going to get a little bit of binder. I'll be right back. For this recipe, super simple, doesn't call for a bunch of must or anything like that. I use my favorite uh, cooking lubricant, duck fat here, spray duck fat is what I like. You could use some bacon drippings, wouldn't be bad if you wanted. You could use just a little bit of olive oil, okay? But I like to put a little bit of oil on the pork butt, okay? And get them on all sides. And that's what we're going to use for our lubrication here. And this will also, I'm sorry, lubrication for, to get the rub to here. Also, some of those some of that stuff in the rub, the oils will help it to, to break down and get inside the meat here. So that's really going to help. Got the duck fat rubbed down here on the pork butt, okay? And that's what I used, all right? Now to the rub. Y'all, for the rubs, I like to use a two rub combo. I like to use something that's sweet and a little bit salty for the base coat, which I use my pig's blanket, baby bee sweet right here. It's a really good rub, excellent on pork. And then, to top that off for some really good color, I use my Pig's Blanket Red Rub. Wonderful color right here. Use your favorite barbecue rub, okay? So, anyway, so we're gonna go right down here, show you how we apply, is we're going in with the, uh, the Beef Sweet Rub, and we're gonna put our first initial layer right down here. This, some good stuff, All right? Good, be sweet rub. And look, don't be bashful with it. This is a lot of pork, a lot of meat right here, so you get your rub on. Put that there, I'm doing the fat cap side first. And then I'll come in with my good red rub. Again, get that beautiful color and pat in a little bit as you go. That's not a big deal. You don't want to rub it around because that'll just displace the rub. So we want to get that beautiful color on here on top of the beef sweet. And I'll come right back to you once I get the rub shaked on here. Okay, now we got a rub all nice and caked on there. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to come in with some, some of this, my favorite thing in the world, not really, <laughs> saran wrap. All this stuff gives me fit sometimes. So we're just going to cover, like the lay it down like this on the top. We'll cover this in saran wrap. Now I'm going to flip it over and we'll try to kind of fold this stuff up and pull it tight. 
He said, I'm not the best with saran wrap, but don't bypass this step, y'all. This is part of my secret here to make a really simple, super tasty pork butt at home, all right? Got those two sheets. I'll probably go this way with some. Oh, let's see. Zoom you out a little bit. Okay, there. Okay. Ideas to make this stuff where it's nothing all stick together. Now, I'm gonna kind of flip the whole dude over right there. And we'll try to pull that, that saran wrap tight on the back side as good as we can. And it's not gonna work that well. And that's okay. Put some more saran wrap on this side. All right, now just bear with me here. But basically, we just wanna get this sucker wrapped up. Y'all may have a better way of wrapping it than I do. But you get the idea. The general idea. Alright. Alright y'all, got it all wrapped up. Tight as possible. Best I could do there. Now this goes in the refrigerator for 24 hours. It's something you do, you know, the day before. Trust me on this one y'all, it's going to be good. Alright y'all, so we're out here at the Y640 right now. I am running the pit at 250 degrees. That's the temperature I want y'all to get your pits to. Whether you got a pellet cooker, charcoal, or whatever. 250 degrees. I've got some Lumberjack Competition Blend pellets is what I'm running. I like that for pork. And what we're about to do is we got the uh, the pork butt after it's been wrapped. I've let this one sit for about 18 hours. Didn't quite go to 24, that's fine. Anywhere, as long as you do at least 12 hours, I think you'd be good. But I got it unwrapped. Look at that beautiful color that's set in. Let's go ahead and get it on the pit. I'm gonna get one more thing on the pit first. Put these little non-stick cooking mats down. It just helps with the clean up and everything else in my opinion. So you don't have to do that, that's optional. Now I'm going fat side down onto the pit, y'all. Fat side down, remember that. This thing up off all the plastic. Tin pole I've used. Come on, you don't want none of that plastic. That will not be good. Alright. So there's that bad boy sitting in the pit just like that, y'all. Get zoom in there. That's beautiful. We'll put it to bed for about five or six hours. Mm. Alright, y'all. We have been going seven hours at 250 degrees on the port butt on the Y640. That's seven hours total. We got an 8.25 pound port butt. 250 degrees we've reached 170 internal temp i just tempted it with my thermo pen now y'all come on in here i'm gonna show you what we're looking like this is what you want to see that absolutely gorgeous mahogany pork shoulder right there the pork butt all right now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna in the thickest part of the butt i'm gonna insert a probe this is a probe for my uh Thermo, Thermoworks signals, okay? It's a Wi-Fi controlled temperature because I'm gonna shoot for a little bit of temp now we're about to wrap this bad boy. Show y'all what we're gonna do there. Let me get my tin foil. A thick sheet of tin foil down. Go ahead and put the pork butt. I'm gonna pull them off this non-stick uh, mat. Come on now. Put the pork butt down right there. And then we're gonna wrap it. Wrap it up tight as you put the drum. Get everything sealed in there. This is going to help it to finish cooking. All right. And we'll put it back in the cooker. I can go ahead and take my, my non-stick little thing out of there. Let it roll right there. Y'all can see. Sorry, let it roll right there. But with that being said, I want to adjust my temperature in the pit. All right. I'm going to take the temperature up to 275. Y'all bear with me here just a second. I'll be right with y'all. Come over here. It's open and that's why the temp's dropped down, but I've had it for seven hours at 250. 
Now that it's wrapped, I want to increase my heat to 275. Let it roll here till we're shooting for 203 on the on the digital. All right, y'all. My uh, signals are saying it's about 200 degrees. Just going to double check it there with the thermopin. Let's just see what we're looking at here, about 200, 203. So that's going to be good. We'll go ahead and pull this off, wrap it in a beach towel, we'll set it down in a cooler and let it rest for an hour. All right, y'all, so let's kind of go over what we did here in the cooking process and the preparation process for the pork butt. All right, first off, we took the pork butt, we trimmed it up a little bit, we rubbed it down with our favorite rub. We want to do a rub that doesn't have very much salt in it. Remember that, you don't want something that's too salty for this method. We wrapped it as tight as we could in cellophane wrap. Let it sit in the refrigerator overnight at least 24 hours would be great. I think this was about 18 hours. We took it out the next day. We put it on the smoker at 250 degrees. We let it smoke for seven hours. That was for an 8.25 pound pork butt. Seven hours, which it reached about 170 degrees internal. We put our thermal signal in there. Then we wrapped it tight and full, cranked the heat to 275, let it go for about three and a half more hours till it reached 200 degrees internal. 200 to 203 is the window we're looking for. Unwrapped it, well, unwrapped, unwrapped, let some of the steam out, okay? You wanna wrap it back up tight, then you wanna wrap that into a beach shell and put it down a little cooler. You wanna let that sit in that cooler for an hour. And you could actually, if you didn't unwrap it and let the steam out, if you need to hold it for longer, you could take it directly from a smoker, put it in the cooler, stuff some towels on top of it, and I've let those things sit six to eight hours if I needed to almost, you know, while I was at work or something like that. That's not, I'm saying that's health reasons and stuff like that. Nothing's happened to me, but I would say at least three or four hours will be fine, okay? So anyway, at least an hour, let it sit, then we're going get to get in there and we're going to pull it apart. It's going to be Beautiful pulled pork. Y'all, I can't wait. Y'all, now the pork shoulder is rested. Let's go ahead and break into it. It's what moment we all been waiting for anyway. So that's what I'm talking about. And the main thing you want to make sure, well done, you know, this bone right here. Just look at that. See how it pulls out clean? Just like that. That's what you're looking for. Set that aside. And I'll tell you what, this stuff breaks up. Look at the smoke ring on there. Just beautiful. And look, just tears apart just like that. And let me give you another tip. If you're not going to eat all this pork butt right in the beginning, now let's say, like for me, I'm going to have some of this for the big game, put it in the refrigerator, or store it up, or whatever like that. Don't tear it all apart right at first, okay? Leave some up together. You can put it in the refrigerator just like this. You can even vacuum seal it or whatever and freeze it just like that. Just not pull. What I'm saying, just pull what you're about to eat. All right, but now if you want to, uh, let's say you are freezing the smaller packages, you can pull some. Pull pork freezes very well, but look how that pulled apart. Absolutely delicious. That's what I'm talking about. Y'all, let's just give this a taste just by itself, just for a second. This is just, oh. <laughs> That's so good. Now, come down here with me a little bit. We're going to try this sauce. Tell you what, this pig's blanket, again, I told you, makes some of the best pork rub in the world, but they formulated sauce just for pork shoulder and this stuff is amazing i've had it several times absolutely amazing put a little bit down here for y'all so you can see oh yeah i don't want to sauce all my meat right at once because let's say i'm gonna store some of this but i'm gonna try it right there with that sauce on there that pig's blanket and I'll put a link to where you can get that stuff. You can contact them if you want some. We're going to try this. Oh, man, Mom, lost my light. <laughs> anyway, so we'll try this here. Mmm. Mmm. 
Oh my goodness. Y'all, yeah, that is amazing. Absolutely melts in your mouth. The sweetness, the pepperiness. Yes, sir. This is the new Pork Butt 101 video. I should answer all your questions. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please like my, like my video, sub my channel. Hit that little bell button, get your notifications. I've heard some people tell me they don't get my notifications. Hit that in the corner there and subscribe. Thanks again, y'all. And um, like I said, 250 for seven hours, 275 for about three hours, takes about 200 degrees, pulls apart just perfect after an hour rest, y'all. Yeah, y'all give us a try. You're going to love it. Thanks again. God bless, and y'all have a good one.